Hi guys, this is a wind burner wing, it's just a glass one. Um, as you notice it hasn't got any ailerons cut into it yet. I'm going to um, show you how I cut my ailerons in. Um, first off, I've got my Kevlar on the bottom of my wing, so I'm just going to mark it all out and um, show you how I score and cut it. Now I've got some tape on there and marked out where my ailerons are going to be cut. Um, I'll show you some of the tools that I'm going to be using. I've got a small steel ruler, that's what I usually use for measuring. A, a big um, meter steel rule, um, which I use to run my life along all my, um, my scribers, which are, are these two here. Um, this old one here I used to use, I'd, um, this has done a lot of cutting this one, not necessarily for wings but for other things as well. I had shaped the tip on the other one to be quite wide but um, I found that it doesn't need to be and I've just used this one here um, I just haven't touched this so it's um, standard from the shop but these are alright but the, the, the better ones are the tile cutters they look exactly the same but they're just a bit better tungsten and they make a little bit neater job um, trusty old hacksaw I've got a, um, a sliding bevel which is really quite handy because the, the trailing edge is always um, you know, it's not straight so you can set that up so whichever way you put that on there on each side um, it's going to give you a straight line ok now I've got um, this, these all marked out I'm going to cut it with my hacksaw and um, I've got a bit of wax um, it's good to wax up your blade so that it slides through the through the um, the grass a lot easier and doesn't stick. Let's get it done. Just wax my blade up. Now I've cut down or cut through to the my line on the ailerons. I've put my steel ruler on there with some tape so it doesn't move, and I've just come back from the line a little bit. So now I'm going to um, I'll cut that run my my knife along there and and remove that tape from that side because it. Um, Remove that bit of tape. I'll leave the other ones on there so you know where to stop scribing. I'm going to use my finer one. So we just take several cuts, just very gently. And scribing through to your Kevlar. I just need to take that one a little bit deeper so that the scriber stops. <laughs> through so you can see it full length. I usually take it down just so that you can 
just see it in patches all the way along. That's about as far as I really want to take it. The camera doesn't really pick it up, but believe me when I tell you, you can just start to see the Kevlar weave through the glass. Well, that's, that's as far as I want to take it at the moment. I don't need to take it any more than that. Let's turn the wing over and do the other side. When we mark the other side, we need to be about a mil to a mil and a half bigger than the side that we've scribed. So we've got to measure that and then mark the other side. Okay, I've um, got marks on there now. So I've cut down to my ruler, put my ruler on those marks and then cut down to the ruler on, on both sides. This is the side I've described. So it's got the scribe mark on it where the Kevlar is. Now this side I'm going to cut through. I'm going to do that with my with my um, little snap knife and um, several cuts. You don't want to try and do it all in one go. I just start off very light to start with until I get to the groove thing happening. You start putting pressure on it too soon and you've got a chance of slipping and damaging your wing. You can hear when the, the glass is cutting through, nearly cutting through. So what I like to do when I get to that stage is just turn it round and just put a bit of pressure down just to open the gap up a little bit so the knife slides a bit easier through it. Now this is the part that a lot of you don't like the sound of. I never used to too, but the cracking and breaking sound is not a nice sound when you... Well, here it goes. That no, wasn't too bad. Okay. So that's it, that's one side done. That will free up quite nicely. You can just see my Kevlar in there, it's actually underneath a four ounce piece of glass. Um, that's normally what makes all the creaking noise because it's actually got to break away um, to allow the hinge to open. Now we'll do the other side and then we'll we'll open up this side um, to make it fold back the other way. I've just scribed and cut through this side here and I'm just going to bend it for the first time again on this side. working fine. Very good. Now we've released both the ailerons from the wing. The next step is to is to 
sand the skin so the aileron folds back inside it. I'll put a piece of tape on there um, just to give me a guide to where I've got to sand back to. Um, because the wing's tapered, you need a bigger gap here than you do down here. Because it's a lot smaller, it doesn't need as much gap to fold back under itself. Now, how I'm going to do that is with this. Now, this is a piece of sandpaper stuck onto a piece of 0.5mm plastic with a piece of double-sided tape. It um, works quite well. I'm also just going to put a bit of tape on this edge here just to protect the paintwork when I'm sliding this backwards and forwards. That edge there has got a little bit of a lip to it, so we'll take that off to start with. The lip's caused from the knife when you're cutting through the first, and you're just cutting the aileron off. Now what I do is I take my sandpaper facing up, stick it in there, and start to move on the odor on to sand that bevel underneath. It's going to want to sand more out of the middle first, so we got to be very careful of that and just get it on the ends and There we go, it's gone past, look at that, beautiful. Look at the tape, have a look at the tape, you can, you can see where it's, it's only just clearing and it's pulling back the tape, um, those little spots there you'll need just a little bit more sanding. Okay, so now we've got, if you can see that folds underneath, underneath that top skin. So it's working really, really well. But I'll set it up now to do wipers. Okay, I've just peeled that bit of tape off here that I put on here to um, protect the paint when I was sanding the bevel on the back of the front skin and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another piece of tape on there but I'm going to overlap it or have it so it overhangs so what you do I know how much travel is on I need on these on these um, wings which is going to be 10 mil so if I put that down to 15 mil which is a little bit more than what I need and then putting that piece of tape in line with the front skin and then very carefully sticking it down to the aileron which has opened up more than what you need or more so now we very carefully just cut through end of that tape and run it down onto the aileron 
the same with this end. Just make sure it's pushed down quite well along that, along that edge. So I've, I, when that's sitting in place, I put that tape so that it actually touches, it touches that top skin. So what you're left with is a piece of tape overhanging the, the um, front of your aileron. Now we very carefully just fold that back, just making sure that it's still stuck on that edge pretty well. Just like so. I've just mixed up some Q cells and epoxy, and you can see that it's it's still runny, but it hangs onto the spoon. Um, if you make it too dry, it makes it um, too awkward to put in, but too wet, and it just runs everywhere. You know, the if it's in a um, slightly thicker, it stays on my spoon, which is um, exactly what I want. Okay, this next step can get quite messy. Uh, if you haven't done it before, but um, if it's your first time doing it, I would recommend taping your whole wing up and making sure that you've got that paintwork showing, just in case you get any grubby fingerprints or anything on your paintwork. Um, but basically, um, just taking a little swipe of your glue, on, I've got a steel ruler which I find really good to, do, to use, and um, just wiping it onto the top of that tape that you just folded back and um, you work along the whole wing. This is something you've really got to um, just be careful about how much you're putting on. Right, once you've done that I've got a spoon and some water. This is just a you know, plastic spoon. I grab the thicker ones because they're a bit easier to use. What you do is you dip it in your water because the water won't stick to you. Won't stick to your epoxy mix. And we just need to smooth that out along that edge. For some reason it's not working for me today. So next, the next step is to tuck that, just rub that down with your finger so it starts to tuck down and with your, just with a blade, just carefully run that along the edge because you want that tape to tuck up underneath the, of the top skin. You gotta be careful because it buckles up on you if you um, force it in there. Okay. Let's just. Here we go. Here it is. Find my tape. I 
We'll just take that aileron closed. So what we've got So what we've got is that tape just tucked up underneath there with all your sprues on the other side. So we'll get the other side in and then we'll turn it upside down and let it dry. Okay, I've got the other side in. It's all tucked in there nicely. The other ones are taped up so they can't move. So what I'm going to do now is just turn this upside down. And um, leave it until tomorrow. The wing's been sitting overnight, so now just take off my tape. I will gently pull that odor on down. It's going to make a bit of noise when it pops out. There we go. Okay. Just pull that tape off of there, and we should be left with a nice wiper. Excellent. Looks really good. So what I'm going to do now is just take my my um. Bit of sandpaper on a plastic, and I'm just going to take just put a light, slight round on the on the wiper. So that will fold back into itself again. There we go. This is the scribe side of, of my aileron. See, it's, it's got a nice fine line there. Where the cutouts are, and now I've got the wiper on there, and everything's working quite well.